For the start of the British Grand Prix. As we lead the grid in Silverstone, it's a tentative start from everyone, but it looks like it looks like Tiger Val's got a, a much better start out of the two. As he goes down the inside, Abby looks for the move into Abby, doesn't quite pull it off and has to settle for second place. Multiple cars on the wide going going wide in the background. That's Slayer being one of them hitting the polystyrene board. As you head into loop section, that's one of the red eyes. That's Sarge almost being spun round as Louis Ferrandez going wide in the background. As the formation seems to be relatively the same, we have Poison World in, in the Mercedes in the background getting quite close between be, uh, between Cold Steel and Dakuna. Dakuna's fallen back down the grid though. He's not had a very good start. I have to look at the position. He's going go down the inside at Luffield. Can he, no, um, Brooklyn, sorry. Can he put off the move, which then turns to the outside of Luffield? He's been forced wide. That's going to give Poison World the position. But then no, there's two are still side by side. We head on to the old start for you straight for the first time of asking. Still side by side, but it looks like Dakun has pulled in front of Poison Wild now. As we go into Cox for the first time, will anyone make a mistake in these wet conditions? Doesn't look to be so fast, but Dakun didn't get a very good exit. Pushes Poison Wild onto the grass there. Fantastic race from him so far. Hopefully, he's one of the drivers in the background of spun as a Mercedes of Poison Wild has spun out, coming out of Chapel and onto the hangar straight. He's spun, he must have hit a curb. He's definitely hit the wall. He has front wing damage. And that's gonna completely ruin his race so far as Nazo sets the fastest lap. It's absolutely stripping down. It's one of the Mercedes has spun again, I believe. Once again, it was Poison World spinning. This time at turn two, as he nearly spins again. He's, he, he, he's had a shocker so far for the Mercedes team. There's only a 10 separating these two down the straight we go. Both, it looks like Dakunha will pull ahead. Atmos is getting involved now. Haven't sit, heard from him for a while. Dakunha goes down the inside at Stowe. And that's given Dakunha sixth place. But here comes Atmos. As Sarge has pitted finally. But what tyre will he go on to? Oh yeah, so here comes Slayer getting a way better exit. Into Abbey we go. That's a good move from him. As uh, Lou Fernandez though, interestingly, tries to hold it round. Has to back off in the end. But that's Slayer up into fourth place. Yeah, currently Slayer's sitting first in the yellow flag in sector three. That's one of the Alpha Tauris has spun. As we, get, we have a VSC deployed, must have been a crash. On the pit straight out of club, we'll look at Markele, yep. That's quick fast to spun off at the last corner and just crash into the barrier there. That's an unfortunate end to the race for him. Came incredibly fast in the loop section. Should be an easy move if you think about it. It's in the slipstream. To the inside. Down the hangar straight. Will Lou Frandes defend? He defends fiercely but goes wide. That's going to give Kramer the inside line, which then turns to the outside. Good defence from Louis Ferrandez there to hold 10th place. They're effectively fighting over a single point now. And again, a point could change the championship. Only attempt separating the top two now. Here comes Nazareth saying he's caught up. Into Brooklyn's he goes. Down the inside goes Nazareth. He's holding it there, which then turns to the outside of Luffield. Will, and he looks to have held it. McCainley has held position. But Nazareth has got a, looks to have got a, did have a good exit. Coming out of Luffield, which has now turned into a poor exit after losing the back end. They've now enabled for the Mercedes driver. In the slipstream, this could finally be happening as he moves to the outside at Stowe. Still side by side. Round he goes. Can he put it off? McCainley, ah, he's finally taking the lead. As he takes the lead of the British Grand Prix, but... McKenney fights back at the outside of the Vail Chicane. Nazareth shuts the door on him. A bit of contact between the two drivers. But Nazareth takes the lead of the British Grand Prix after waiting after lap after lap after lap. Some really good racing from both drivers concerned there. That's going to push him wide. I think, yeah, we'll see a move here. As Amos is coming around the last corner. Nazareth has won the British Grand Prix, but these two 
still battling away as Tiger Val gets onto the grass and nearly loses the back end. He has no battery to use down the hangar straight, so he's not going to be too happy with that. Look like it. Amos just manages to fantastically hold sixth place on Mike Tiger Val must be very frustrated. But here is your race winner, Nazarusen. Once again, back to winning way. Oh, we have a spin on the last lap. Sarge has spun at the second to last corner. Can Kramer get past before the finish line? Not quite. But Sarge making a mistake right at the end of the Grand Prix. But there is your race winner, Nazarus. Finally back to his winning race. Winning the British Grand Prix.